guys, what's going on? This is Hello Jailbreak Hill, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 5.0.1 on tether on tethered using Ponage Tool. Uh, so the main reason that you w w wanna jailbreak using Ponage Tool instead of Red Snow is because you wanna preserve preserve your baseband if you're on an iPhone. Uh, but if you were on an iPod Touch or an iPad, uh, you probably want to use Red Snow since uh, it's much easier than Ponage Tool and much faster. But so I, I do have a Red Snow tutorial. I'll have it in the description if you want to watch that. Uh, but in this video, I'm going to be showing how to download Ponage Tool. So uh, for this jailbreak, you will need two things. So the first one is obviously Ponage Tool, uh, which I have here, and the second one is your. Um, I devices IPSW file. So um, just go to this site that I'll have in the description. It's the felixbron.d and uh, go to where it says iPhone slash iPod Touch slash iPad slash Apple TV. And here basically browse for your uh, device. So uh, in my case, it's going to be my iPod Touch uh, third generation. And the, just download the 5.0.1 final firmware and then just click download and it's going to start downloading it. And so after that, after that, uh, it's gonna save it in your downloads folder. Um, so just put in a location that uh, you will remember. So a desktop is a good place. And after that, you you'll good to you're uh, good to go. So why don't we begin? So just open up Ponish Tool, and here it is. Uh, so here it says copyright 2011 iPhone Dev Team. So the this software is not for commercial use. And just click OK. And uh, first of all, uh, just hit expert mode right here, and here is where you select your device. So um, in my case, it's going to be an iPod Touch third generation. So then just click the little blue arrow, and now we're going to be browsing for our IPSW file. So just double click on that, and here's my iPod Touch third generation 5.0.1 final firmware. So I'm just going to click open, and as you can see, it is verifying it here. So just give it a little second. Okay, so it's successfully identified. And as you can see here we have the options. So if you're on an iPhone and you wanna preserve your baseband, go into general and click the blue arrow. And uh, just select activate the phone. And that should preserve your, preserve your baseband. And so if you're on an uh, uh, well, these options are for the second gen iPod Touch, but since it doesn't support iOS 5, uh, so they're useless. So, but so then, uh, go, click the blue next arrow, and here actually you can uh, de uh, add custom packages that you want to be in your IPSW file. So uh, as you can see here, you get select packages, download packages. If you're on the show, just click on refresh, and as you can see here, the packages the packages are. Um, all the well here are all the packages and so here you can download uh, a package and once you restore with iTunes with your custom firmware the package that you download uh, will be already installed uh, on your device but so I'm not gonna do anything of that and you can manage the sources right there also and you can add to CAC another quick CAC but so yeah so I'm not gonna be doing anything of that but um, it's your choice and then just click the blue arrow again and their seed installer obviously we need that and uh, one thing that I wanted to say is that don't mess don't mess with the root partition size just leave it alone unless you know what you're really doing but uh, I would recommend just leave it like that uh, okay so then uh, just click on build and click the blue arrow and then here it's gonna ask you where you wanna save your custom IPSW file and so I'm just gonna select my desktop since it's e easy to locate and then you can change the name uh, of your custom IPSW file so I'm just gonna leave it like that and just click save and as you, as you can see there it is building my IPSW and so this will take a little while so I'm just gonna pause the video and I'll be right back and uh, if it gives you this, uh, Ponish Tool wants to make changes, type in your password. Just type in your password, don't worry, nothing will happen to your uh, Mac. So just type your password, click OK. And it's gonna continue building the IPSW file. And so now it should be done in a while, I guess. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna pause the recording again. 
Okay guys, so as you can see, Ponish tool is done building my custom IPSW file and at this point you need to have your device connected to your Mac and so as you can see now we need to follow the on-screen instructions so now press hold uh, home and power for 10 seconds and if item pops up that's okay I just switch back to Ponish tool and now just hold your home button for another 10 seconds but it's actually less and just keep holding it okay so as you can see now it says successfully enter DFU mode close uh, the Pony tool application start iTunes and restore your custom firmware bundle so just click OK and at this point we can click the blue arrow again and click exit out um, of Ponish tool and as you can see iTunes recognized my Apple touch in DFU mode well now it recognized it and so now what we need to uh, as you can see here in my desktop uh, here is my uh, custom IPSW file uh, so anyway so uh, hold the command key and click restore oh actually it, it was the uh, the alt key sorry the alt key and go to your desktop well, or wherever you saved the uh, custom firmware and just uh, double click on it and then it will say iTunes will erase and restore your iPod to iOS 5.0.1 and will verify the restore with Apple click OK restore and as you can see now it is extracting the software and so Base. You can see here it says your iPod has been restored to factory settings. Uh, so um, it is done. So just click OK on that. And uh, now let's go. <coughs> so here in my iPod Touch, guys, and I'm gonna quickly go through the setup process. So I'm gonna fast forward it. So, um, as you can see here, I'm done with the setup process, and if we slide over, as you can see, there's Cydia, and since this is an untethered jailbreak, Cydia launches perfectly fine, and uh, so there we go, and as you can see, Cydia is loading up perfectly fine, and now let me just show you that uh, this is iOS 5.0.1, well, first of all, we have the notification center, right there, and... If I scroll down, as you can see, it does say iPod Touch 3G, iOS 5.0.1, Cydia 1.1.3. And there I have my 5.0.1 SH Sage Blob saved. So, yeah, guys, this is gonna be about it for this video. Uh, hope you did enjoy it, guys. And also, comment, comment down below. Comment down below if this video did help you, and if you have any comments, questions, or concerns. And also, please give this video a thumbs up. And so, also follow me on Twitter, guys. I'll have it down in the description. And so, I guess that's pretty much it, guys, for this video. I'll catch you later.